guys welcome to memos tutorials today we are looking at reproduction in plants we start off with the structure of seeds uh, we have uh, the seeds of monocotyledonous uh, plants and uh, dicotyledonous plants so you need to know the difference between a monocotyledon and a dicotyledon right so when we're looking at a monocotyledon uh, mono means one it simply means it has got one cotyledon and um two dicotyledon simply means we've got two cotyledons right and we have an endosperm as the food source the endosperm is actually the food source when we are looking at the what when we are looking at a monocotyledonous plant and then we have uh on the dicotyledon we've got cotyledons as the food store they are the ones that actually store in the food i'm sure you can see the cotyledon here we have a bean seed this side we have a maize seed and a maize seed it's a very good example of a monocotyled monocotyledon and a uh, monocotyledon has what we call a pericap a pericap uh while it um a bean we have what we call a tester a bean has got a tester while it's a maize has got a peri cap and a maize it's part of what monocotyledon so you need to be able to give an example of a monocotyledonous plant and a dicotyledonous plant so now what's the function of all those things that we're seeing there we talked of a tester that we find on the uh, dicotyledonous plants i'm sure you can see it on the outside of the bean uh what's the function of the tester so the tester is the tough hard coat which protects the seed from fungi bacteria and insects i'm sure you guys can agree with me that beans uh it's very very hard right it has got a, a hard outer covering and we have what we call the radical the radical what is the radical and why is it so important here um here it is on our bean it's at the bottom with our radical then there's a plumuli there quite a bit at the top um here on our monocotyledon we've got our what our radical and our plumule. what are those four okay so the radical is the embryotic root so this uh, radical will eventually develop into a root right as your seed germinates your radical will develop into a root and the plumule will then develop into your shoot it will become your what your new plant right it becomes the leaf part or the one the, the 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 part that we see above the ground okay remember we said the endosperm that is in the monocotylet nose plants the is the one that stores food but on dicots we have got what um cotyledons is the one storing our food and then we have a micro pile you know micro pile uh what's a micro pile a micro pile uh it's here this dot over here it's a micro pile or there so what is it and why is it important so a micro pile is just a tiny pore in the tester this pore allows water to enter the embryo before germination can take place you just see right now that for germination to take place uh you see they need to be first swollen with water they need to be first filled with water right so that's what uh the micro pile does so now let's move on to germination so this is just a process by which an embryo starts to grow from a seedling right it starts to grow from a seedling remember we've got our radical which becomes the roots to so the plumule which becomes the leaf part and then we've got the micro pile which allows water to enter the seed so as it allows water to enter the seed when your seed becomes solid uh full of water it then cracks the tester right the tester cracks uh it cracks once the tester uh, has uh, has been broken uh the enzymes are activated the enzymes um activated and the process of respiration begins now your plant is able to expire uh to respire so enzymes they start to break down the food store in the endosperm or cotyledon endosperm if you are dealing with a monocotyledonous plant cotyledon when you are dealing with a dicotyledonous uh plant right so uh, this respiration will start utilizing the food in the endosperm and the cotyledon to supply your plant with energy 
your developing seed uh, that is becoming a new plant with energy. So once the food source becomes soluble, it diffuses it into the seed embryo, which starts to grow into a seedling. There is enough food, then it starts it does to develop and grow into a seedling. Okay, so in some decotless plants, uh, the cotyledons are brought out of the tester and above the ground. The cotyledons can actually also come above the ground. And when they are above the ground, they also become green. The, remember, green plants, they make their own food, right? They become green and also make food by photosynthesis during the early, early stages of germination, right? So we call that epigeal germination. So this only occurs in some cot dicotyledons, uh, dicot plants. So as for monocots, uh, the monocot plants, uh, the cotyledons remains below the ground. So we call this hypogeal germination. Remember the monocots, they don't even have the cotyledons, they have the endosperm. And the endosperm remains underneath the what? The ground. It doesn't come up like on dicotyledonous plants where it will also photosynthesize to supply your developing seeds with food, right? Uh, on our next lesson, we're going to be looking at conditions necessary for germination. Uh, we'll end here for today.